Right. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to this uh, second uh, workshop um, from the uh, AIMS Land Data Assimilation uh, Working Group. Um, uh, it's really great uh, to have so many people come in again uh, to this uh, meeting, and we hope it is going to be as productive uh, as the one we held last year. Um, so it's great to see familiar faces, but also great to see some new faces. And I'm looking forward to uh, meeting you all as the meeting goes on. Uh, sorry, my slide stuck then. Um, so uh, the workshop program uh, is on that link there. Tash is going to post that into the chat in a moment and we'll also keep posting uh, links in the chat. But you should have already seen that in um, an email. So if you haven't, uh, if that's news to you, you could go back uh, and check your email. Uh, and the programme contains information about uh, the agenda. It tells, uh, it tells you what's going to happen in the breakout groups uh, in particular. It has all the abstracts for the talks and how the poster sessions are going to work. And it has a, a list of all the people who are registered for the workshop. So a useful way of getting uh, back in touch with people um, who you might hear talking, uh, either uh, one of the presentations or in a breakout group. Um, the working group is uh, myself, Tristan Quaif. Uh, I'm there on the right hand side of your slide and then going from uh, uh, left to right, uh, Andy Fox, um, Hannah Liddy, Jana Colassa, and uh, Natasha McBean. Um, what we identified uh, was that there's uh, a general awareness that um, there are specific problems faced by people working on land surface data assimilation. And by that, we're generally thinking of the large scale models of the type that are used in uh, Earth system mm -hmm. models or numerical weather prediction. And there are quite a lot of challenges that are unique simply because of the size and scale of these, um, uh, of these models. And also that often there's not a good forum for discussing some of the more technical issues. So there's plenty of great science papers, but sometimes talking about the kind of nitty gritty detail, you know, gets left off to the side. And we wanted to generate a platform uh, where people could uh, discuss and interact around those problems. So that's what we are, uh, doing here as part of that act activity uh, during the next uh, three days. Um, since the meeting last year, we now have a um, listserv email list, and uh, there's more people in this meeting than there are subscribed to the list, so I'd encourage you all to get uh, uh, subscribed to the list. Uh, it's a useful place for people to uh, post job adverts, uh, for example, but alert each other to uh, papers that have been published or reports or things that might be uh, useful. Um, uh, Tash will put that in the chat, I think, but in any case, you can also find a link uh, to that information on our new uh, web page. So Tash will definitely put this link uh, in the chat. Uh, so we've got a GitHub uh, based uh, web page now um, uh, as a resource for the community as the intention. Uh, please feel free to email with suggestions for any content. And if anybody is specifically interested uh, in helping us develop the web page, also drop us a line and we'll see what we can do to facilitate that. Uh, and we're exploring ways uh, currently in which we can kind of open this up more as a, as a uh, something to which the community uh, can directly contribute. Uh, we also um, published a short report um, in BAMS uh, about the, um, the workshop last year. So if you weren't able to attend or you want to remind yourself what happened last year, uh, we've got a, um, a workshop report in BAMS. Um, uh, and I guess we might do something similar this year. Um, and perhaps more informatively, we have a list, uh, we've got a YouTube channel with a playlist of all last year's videos. So you can relive all the excitement of last year's uh, workshop. And I'd certainly encourage anybody who wasn't at the workshop to go back and look up some uh, 
uh, through those talks for anything that might be uh, useful to you. I think uh, there was a lot of positive feedback from the meeting uh, last year and some of those, well, all those talks were really, really uh, informative. Um, so our first main goal is to share knowledge. Uh, to that end, uh, we've got some uh, really interesting talks uh, lined up over the next three days. Uh, just quickly to explain uh, how we're going to deal with that for the benefit of the speakers. The talks are 15 minutes long. Um, if you have a question for a talk, you can raise your hand uh, in uh, using um, uh, using the Zoom uh, raise hand uh, thing. And whoever is um, chairing the session, so me for today, will come around uh, to ask um, people who's, who've raised their hands what their questions are. If you could, uh, if you don't mind turning your um, video on when you do that, that would be extremely useful. Um, and then if uh, we're not able to get around all the questions, you can keep uh, the conversation going in the chat after that. Um, it, if you're speaking, I'll give you a warning uh, when you get to the two uh, minute mark uh, and then when your 15 minutes is up. Um, so our second aim then um, is to continue growing the community that we started building last year. So uh, making connections, uh, getting to know each other, finding out uh, what everybody would like uh, from this group. And to that end, we've got um, a whole series of breakout groups uh, later uh, in the workshop and um, a land DA uh, group roundtable. And then there'll be a plenary session at the very end of the workshop to identify the next steps. So you have uh, this information here in the agenda, but just to uh, draw out um, some specific things. So today uh, we're focused on uh, machine learning uh, in Land DA. Um, we have specific poster session that we're going to trial. Uh, which will happen at the end of today. After all the talks, we'll have a short break. Uh, the poster session and the posters are going to be as uh, breakout rooms and we'll give you instructions on how to join those breakout rooms uh, a bit later. Um, and essentially you can move around between the breakout rooms to talk to the people um, presenting their posters. Uh, there's also um, a career corner breakout room. And if anybody has got any jobs they want to advertise in that space, if you could send them during the course of this afternoon to aims at futureearth.org, uh, we will get them featured. Uh, then tomorrow there are going to be breakout groups uh, on specific um, topics. What we would really like is volunteer note takers for each breakout group. So if you look in your agenda, what the topics of the breakout groups are, and there are something you uh, would particularly like to be the note taker uh, and rapporteur for for that group. Uh, if you could, again, email aims at futureearth.org uh, and let us know, that would be fantastic. Alternatively, uh, you can send Hannah a DM in the Zoom chat. Um, Finally, at the very, very end on Wednesday, we're going to have a plenary session. And we, what we'd like you to do is to um, uh, keep that plenary in mind um, throughout the course of the workshop uh, so that we can start building the discussion around your ideas for what you think the next steps are uh, for this community. 